What is going on y'all? Check me out here and in my hand I have the iPhone 12 Pro and this phone has been out for what like six or seven months? It came out in October of last year 2020 so I've definitely had some extensive use of this. So in this video I'm gonna share with you all the things that I like about it, the things that I don't like and if I plan on switching from this phone anytime soon. So the first thing I wanna talk about here is the design because that's the first thing we're greeted with. So I currently have the gold model and after I got this, I didn't want anything else. <laughs> um, I was really satisfied with this. I was personally torn between this and the Pacific Blue because this does come in about four different colors. So you have gold, Pacific Blue, silver, and graphite. And it is one of those phones too, especially when you don't have it in a case and you're around other people, it just looks expensive. Like I've had scenarios where someone was taking a photo for me and I would go hand them my phone so that they could grab it and they're just like holding it like it's so delicate, like a little baby. One, because it's not in a case and two, it feels luxurious. Now you do have a textured matte back. You basically don't have to worry about fingerprints on the back of the device, but you do on the sides because you do have stainless steel sides. Now, moving on to the display, you have an OLED edge to edge screen and colors up here are just super vibrant. Everything looks good and sharp, no complaints there. I really enjoy looking at videos and photos and browsing social media and all that other stuff that we tend to do on our phones. But the thing though that surprised me with this was how good it felt in hand. Like I planned on moving to the 12 Pro Max, um, but after using this for a while, I started to realize that you know, I didn't want to really go to a phone that was much bigger than this, especially if I didn't find a specific reason in which I needed to. This fit all the needs in which I had and have still. <laughs> now, along the front, you do have a ceramic shield display, which provides you with up to four times more drop protection. Now, you know, when we hear that y'all, especially in like a keynote when they're trying to sell you something, we might look at it with a side eye, but I can say from personal experience, I do notice a, you know, better drop protection rate because <laughs> I have dropped this a couple of times. And one time in particular was in my garage. It fell face down, went under the car and everything. And I just knew that I had cracked the screen. But when I pulled it up, the screen was totally intact. No issues. I didn't even have a case on it. So this was, it was a naked phone. I didn't have any chips. Let me double check on that. Yeah, no chips <laughs> along the edges. Like everything was still intact. Truthfully, by this time, I probably would have popped on a glass screen protector just you know, for peace of mind, but I haven't seen any micro scratches or really any damage on my screen to the point that I feel the need to go out and get one. I still keep saying to myself, I'm going to get one. But every time I look at my phone, I'm like, okay, I still got a little bit more time. And that has been the case since October because I've had this phone since launch. Another thing that's really nice about the iPhone 12 Pro is that it is water resistant. And that's super handy for just so many random scenarios. You know, one of course is if you accidentally drop your phone in a pool or in, God forbid, the toilet. Whole phone get thrown away. <laughs> but the cool scenarios, which I think sometimes, I don't know, cameras behind the camera and I'm gonna get y'all's opinion as well. Like the cool scenario to me with having a phone that is water resistant is the option to take it in the pool or in the water with you. But it's like, even though we know our phone is water resistant, we still, right, we still get scared to do it. So I took that that leap of faith one day. Cam, d do you put your phone, you know, you wanna put your phone in the water? No. For those of you out there that have a water resistant phone, do you find yourself like putting it in the water and actually allowing yourself to get some underwater shots? It's really nice when you do, <laughs> you know? Little case to put on the phone. You want the case, even though it's water resistant. <laughs> Why, if it's water resistant, you just don't trust it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> If it's just my luck, my phone in the water damage. Right, you just go one meter further than you need, <laughs> one second longer than you need. It was two years ago when I tested the waters, when I became Aqua Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Aqua Girl with an iPhone. Yeah, uh -huh. the Little Mermaid when I became Ariel. Ariel, <laughs> Halle Bailey, Ariel. Hit the locks too. Okay. You Jesus Christ. <laughs> now one feature that was not only new to the iPhone lineup, but came with the iPhone 12 is 5G. 5G has definitely been the center of attention these past few months and how it's expanding and the things that it can bring with its outreach. I've personally been able to test it and see the benefits of using it. And I gotta say it's nice, especially if you're using 5G ultra wideband, because then you get the more optimal speeds that are like, you know, a gig, things like that. 5G on the other hand, is like the median between that and 4G, I would say. So it's nice to be able to have that. 
I just love the way this phone feels in hand. It has this like squarish design too. So I like this honestly over the iPhone 11's design. The iPhone 11 has more of a rounded design as a whole from the sides of it and everything like that where this, this is more like a rectangle, like a candy bar with rounded corners. What's that in the back of the camera? The camera. There's like, there's an extra one. What's the little, what's the, what is the little one? This one here? Mm -hmm. So this is not a camera actually. This, <laughs> I should have messed with you. This is a telescopic <laughs> microscopic lens. I, I will believe you too if you told me that. This is how you see the stars. And I believe you too. <laughs> You're like, I need a 12 Pro. <laughs> you have your three lenses and then you have a LiDAR scanner. If you could see Cam's face. So a LiDAR scanner is basically LiDAR! So in the case of an iPhone, this definitely helps with the camera because it helps improve night portrait mode effects and it also helps improve augmented reality, so AR. So it will give apps more useful and accurate information about their surroundings for a smoother and more reliable AR experience. Now, if you are not familiar with AR, basically, it allows you to place virtual objects within your home. So no one can see them but you as you look on your phone. You know, you might be on Snapchat or something and you could place a like dancing person on screen. You know what I'm talking about? That's AR. So no one can see it but you on your phone. And then when you film it, everybody can see it in that environment. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does that make sense? Back to the phone. I'm good with the battery up here as well. That's one of the reasons that I might have previously jumped up to the 12 Pro Max, but I've been totally fine with this. It gets me through the entire day. So I really don't have any complaints about it. I am still kind of interested to see what my experience would be like on the 12 Pro Max, but I just fear that after using this, that screen is going to be a bit unruly for me because I'm so used to now using a screen that is this size, which is 6.1 inches. Now I did come from the iPhone 11 Pro Max to the iPhone 12 Pro. And one thing I noticed in making that transition is that this was a lot easier to use in hand, especially one-handed use. Because my iPhone 11 Pro Max had a 6.5 inch display, whereas this one has a 6.1 inch display. But I still get the great camera, I still get the great battery life, just a better, you know, in-hand experience. So I really like that. Now software-wise, it does have the A14 Bionic chip. I will say I haven't had many issues performance-wise. Um, I do have those occasional stutters, but I don't find myself constantly restarting my phone or getting mad because apps are hanging up and stuff like that. I belong, I belong to you. Now the camera, the camera up here, like every other iPhone is just phenomenal. It is hands down, just good. Um, on the back, you have three cameras. And all three of these cameras are 12 megapixels. So you have a wide, an ultra wide, and a telephoto. I feel like it does a good job with color reproduction, sharpness, saturation. And I find that it auto exposes things fairly well, especially for those scenarios even where you're outside and you might have the sky behind you. Instead of it being just this big overexposed white blob of a background, you can actually see the clouds fairly well and everything just looks even. Hold up. <laughs> If you're interested in the fit in which I have on, I got it from thread.com. I do have a link down below in the description box. And if you use that link, you'll get a $30 gift card to use on their site and you'll be entered into a giveaway to potentially win a $100 gift card. To me, this is the site to go to if you don't know what to pick out for yourself because you actually get a free personal stylist who will give you outfit suggestions based upon the things that you tell them that you like and don't like. You basically take a style quiz and they get to know your style, your size, and your budget. And from that, they create a personalized store for you that's only gonna show you items that you know fit within your style that you might like, that is within your budget and is already in your size. But back to what we were talking about, which is the camera on this iPhone. You also have 4K video recording and HDR video recording with Dolby Vision. I played with that and I loved the image in which it reproduced, but you know, you do have to take in mind, how can you share the video? Because yeah, that was the tricky part for me. So the way it looks on your phone, when you share it, it's not gonna look like that on other people's devices. So you gotta take that into account and make sure that you convert it properly with something like iMovie or Final Cut. You can even grab raw photos with this, but I did consider jumping up to the 12 Pro Max, but I found after using this phone for quite some time that 
I don't feel the need to. If anything, I might check out the iPhone 12 mini because I'm kind of curious to see how it would be to use a phone that is that small. Another feature that's unique to the iPhone 12 Pro is that it has MagSafe, which basically means it has a magnet kind of built into it so that you can attach specific accessories to the phone itself, like Apple's MagSafe wallet, or use a wireless MagSafe charger, which is a whole nother video in itself. So if you're kind of interested to see some of the MagSafe accessories that I've been currently enjoying, let me know down below in that comment section. But ultimately I have played with it, I do enjoy it. It does still stick to, you know, magnetic things that aren't MagSafe, like if you have a magnetic car charger, but it's not a stronghold. So $4,000 pretty much is the starting price of this. All in all with the 12 Pro, I can say that I've enjoyed my experience. I don't currently have a desire to go up to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I might check it out just to, you know, see what the experience is like, but I think the display is gonna be a little bit too large for me, especially after using this one for so long. But if anything, I might move over to the 12 mini and just see what that experience is like because I like the idea of a small compact phone that easily fits into my pocket but the battery life is what concerns me. But all in all, I can say if you are eyeing this still at this point in time, I feel like it's worth picking up. But I'm curious to know what phone are you all currently using right now? Let me know down below in the comments section. Until the next one, y'all, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.